So let's talk about HoloLens. Uh, where is it right now? And is it where you thought you would be right now? It is just simply mind-blowing. I mean, you know, see, here's the fascinating thing. I've been using it uh, over, the, you know, over the last multiple months on a pretty constant basis. And for me, even every day, it's just such a different type of computer. Uh, and our industry, I sort of talked about this, is punctuated by these category creation moments, especially when input and output changes. And this is for the first time where you have not just a mirror world, right? If you look at our history, what we have done is we have digitized the real world, right? We've created metaphors like right. the desktop or the smartphone with a set of icons. But this is a place where digital output is mixed in with the real world. So that's why we call it the mixed reality. Right. And we are at the very beginning of understanding even how we're going to deal with this medium uh, as developers, as users, as every one of us. Right. Uh, and so I'm very, very excited about a HoloLens. I think as we get out the dev kit and in fact some of the industrial and the enterprise scenarios are going to be, you know, for architecture, industrial design, healthcare. Uh, we're doing a lot of work with many partners and we're very excited about it. Maybe we should roll the video just to sort of give you a flavor for the kinds of things we're doing uh, with HoloLens. Sure, do we have a video? Look around. Technology is all around us. We use it in every aspect of our lives. It enables us to do amazing things. But what if we could go further? What if we could go beyond the screen? where your digital world is blended with your real world. Now we can. This is the world with holograms. What will they enable us to do? New ways to visualize our work. You know, I have an idea for the fuel tank. New ways to share ideas with each other. How are things going your end? I just put the images in one drive. Perfect. More immersive ways to play. New ways to teach and learn. So put the new trap in the place of the old one. Now what? And tighten here and here. New ways to collaborate and explore the places we've never been. Look at this formation. Let's take a closer look. And new ways to create the things we imagine. Because when you change the way you see the world, you can change the world you see. This is Microsoft HoloLens. Sacha, that is, that is so cool. I don't think there's anyone in the audience who wouldn't look at that world on that video and think, I want in now. <laughs> so how close are we really? <laughs> <laughs> um, the last public thing I've said about this is that we will get it out in um, a dev kit in, uh, by next year for sure. And uh, so we, you know, this is going to be a five-year journey because we really uh, we want to get it out, get it out to developers, we'll get it out to enterprises, um, and then we'll learn. Uh, but we'll get it out next year and then uh, we'll iterate from there. So the developers that you're going to target with this, I'm curious who they are as well. And, um, you know, my... My godsons are too. They would like you to get right on the Minecraft <laughs> version of that. That's right. The Minecraft, you know, gaming is also going to be reimagined for this because it's very different. Like what's happening, obviously, there's, you know, the PC gaming, there is uh, mobile gaming, there's Xbox gaming. Uh, there's also going to be VR because the other thing that we're also excited about, partnering with, in fact, you know, Oculus, Steam, and others, uh, in next spring, I think they're all going to have 
uh, virtual reality goggles, and in most of those cases, they're going to be tethered to a Windows 10 machine, uh, in fact, with Xbox controllers. Uh, that's going to be a very different genre, where it's all fully occluded, and it's going to be very amazing experiences. AR, or mixed reality, is about mixing the real world and the real uh, and the digital world. In fact, that's kind of the thing. I, I put it on and I roam around my house and you continue to have your conversations uh, and you literally have these digital artifacts. Um, and so it's, it's different. And gaming is also going to be reimagined. So to your point about the kinds of developers, even the classic game developers, are, like Minecraft, are building a very different type of game for this new medium. Right. But I guess what I'm getting at is the, the audience that you're really interested in initially is an enterprise audience for this, right? It's going to be definitely the single application used in the enterprise is going to be easy. In, already we have protection, the industrial design. I mean, if you use AutoCAD Maya on HoloLens, there's no going back uh, if you're an industrial designer because you literally see the output of what you're designing right next to you, and you can imagine. Architects, the same thing. Right. Uh, so those are easy to, I think, imagine. Now, what are the, all the other use cases? You saw Skype, right? right? That's the thing that we're going to sort of look at and see how that changes how people communicate. How does customer service uh, change? Right. How does gaming come through? I, for example, watch a lot of video. Uh, I found it like, hey, even Coursera. So I put up Coursera on one side and I have my Edge browser on the other. And I find like, wow, this is a fantastic digital learning platform for me. Uh, and so there's lots of different things and we'll, you know, time will tell, but we are very, very clear that there are some enterprise scenarios that we already think are going to be big hits. Right.